Do you want me to do a trick? There you go. I can press my head on the glass. Is that not good enough for you? You want me to try scare you? You reckon I can scare you? <gasps> <laughs> now piss off, I got things to do, or do I? <laughs> you are too fucking easy. Boop! Like any sound. <laughs> any sound I make. <laughs> anyway, the moral of the story is... Stop tapping on the bloody glass. Oh, <laughs> fuck yes, that's the spot right there. That feels so good. Fucking yes, pound it, pound it, keep going, keep going, pump it, pump it. That feels so sensational. That's the spot. I'm going to climb I'm fucking climbing. I've got to peek and peek. You fucking feel so cool. <sighs> Can we go get some cheesy chips? <laughs> Have a look at this sea lion stuffing his fucking face on the back of a boat. This is quiet the lifestyle. He's like, yeah, I could go another fish if you got another one to spare. Cheers. You got any salmon? Fuck off, pelican. None of the tourists like you. They like me because I'm chilled. No one likes a fucking bird. You're too hectic. You just gotta chill. Humans like animals that are chill. And he is. He is a fucking chilled sea lion, to be fair. Very polite. I am definitely not this calm when I have to wait for my fucking Maccas. It looks like she retrieves another fish. The sea lion says, okay, yeah, sure, pat me first. That's fine. Oi, do you guys have any Diet Coke as well? Nah, okay, see ya. He's gonna go find out if any other tourist boats have some Diet Coke. Another sea lion emerges. She says, can I have a large mackerel combo, please? Grilled? I'll be back in five to pick it up. It's a bloody busy day, hey. Whoop, hello. This sea lion is like, do you guys do any salads? <laughs> Just kidding. I'll take a fuckload of herring. You know what? There's another tourist boat serving Diet Coke. Have you guys thought about diversifying? I personally don't drink the shit. It gives me gas. I don't like having gas underwater. In the end, he starts to get bored as the humans head back towards dry land. He says, fuck this. And that is the lifestyle for these particular sea lions. Someone get these tired bastards a beer. Oh, Venom musters up the energy to give Cyborg a crushed face. He now runs over to his best mate and says, quick, where's me fucking Pokemon hat? I have a great pre-planned gag. Doctors are concerned about Cyborg's brain, but there's the Pokeball. Winner, winner, crushed face fucking dinner. Look, the fight was moving along nicely until bloody Pikachu on the right fell into a flying knee. I guess this is what it looks like when a brain short circuits. Nonetheless, the loud and obvious crack of your opponent's eye socket should never get in the way of a comical celebration. In all sincerity, I am relieved Michael Venom Page ran away to get a Pokemon hat instead of going in for a classic ground and pound on someone with a crushed face. Fuck me, dead. In a weird way, this photograph actually sums up the world. Oh, how I love a zombie apocalypse game. Come on, you little fuckheads. Come to Uncle Ozzy, man. Hey, brains and shit and guts going everywhere. Bam, bam, bam. I better get a wriggle on. you got to keep moving in these troubled apocalyptic times. Weep over that fucking no worries. Let's get a bit more shooting practice. Look, it's no lie. I could cause this same amount of damage using a cricket bat, but... American zombie apocalypse, you gotta toe the line, use a gun. Whoa, a bit hurty on the back. No worries, what have we got here? I'll tell you what we got here. Multiple tickets to destination fucked. <laughs> oh, you cheeky bugger. That was a bit too close for my liking. I better not. Oh, yep, nah, I meant to do that. That was all planned. Actually, it was a happy accident. Okay, here we go. Here's something we've all learned from GoldenEye N64. Just plant a little explosive. Wait for your inexperienced brother or friend to run towards it. And three, two, one. Fucking boom! <laughs> I cannot wait for the zombie apocalypse to happen for realsies. I'm gonna fucking smash it. Hey, you going, you big bloody beautiful wankers? Here's me face. Oi, this video is proudly sponsored by Vikings War of Clans.
Vikings War of Clans is a multiplayer game where you finally get to live like a Viking and raid the shit out of everyone. There's 20 million blokes and sheilas playing the game on mobile, and these massive battles are good fun. Ha <laughs> ha, fucked on. You can even become a shield maiden assassin if you apply yourself and work hard. Ha oh, ha, fucked on. I personally love these games. Build a house, do some farming, kill some dickheads. So if that all sounds pretty good, then click the shit out of the link in the post description below. Using that link, you'll also get 200 bucks worth of gold, a protection shield, and your place secured in Valhalla. That's all, back to the commentaries. I believe it's time for the unfair round. The Mountain vs Tyrion Lannister. It looks like the little guy Tyrion is gonna be bullied off the log, but he holds on and pulls out an unbelievable trick. The Mountain is stranded like a dickhead. The next fight is nothing but fucking savagery and it's a reminder that being a pro wrestling beetle is definitely not glamorous. The rookie on the right thought he was ready for this Mortal Kombat tournament, but he he endures a nasty pinch under the flabby part of the arm and he walks away muttering fuck this I'm going back to mums there's the ladder again for anyone who cares look at the free love going on in Dubai these camels are sending a powerful message to the world yeah nah I'm bloody jealous animals are allowed to fuck in public without judgment or legal ramifications this position looks pretty comfy to be honest less effort than doggy I reckon we should all go out and try and give camel style a crack tonight. Anyway, I should probably spend more time in Dubai outside of the fucking airport. This is good for tourism. Cheers, Davo, for sending it to me, you bloody dodgy bastard. Oi, what do you want from us, human? You want to fight? Pretty sure he does want to fight. Well, I'll go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you, mate. I'll fucking fight ya. And so will Diesel. He's fluffy, but he's fierce. Yeah, I'm fluffy, but I am fierce. Hey, good on you, Diesel. We can't take shit from these humans. This is our Avery. Spot on. Oh, he's standing up. Uh -oh. I didn't think he was that fucking tall. Definitely a lanky wanker. Don't worry, Dees. When I straighten me back, I get way taller. Yeah, do it. Hell How's this? A few extra inches? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck yes, Jacko. He's thinking twice. And it's a good idea to stretch your wings, boys. You don't want to pull a wing. Oh, that like is the, the absolute worst. Hey, I tell you what, I reckon this fucking off. He's been shitting his dax since Jacko stood up straight. There he goes! He's walking off! <laughs> oh, chicken. A Unbelievable. fucking tosser. Oh no, he's coming back now. Maybe Oops. shouldn't have said the tosser thing. He looks fucking angry. Is that a bloody right? Rifle? Boris is potentially a very athletic leader. Look at him. He's fucking ready to take on Djokovic. He does all of his own stunts. Jason Statham would be proud as punch. He has the reflexes of a cat out on the football field. And when it comes to NBA, Larry Bird, eat your fucking heart out, mate. But rugby is where he truly excels. Bam! Little wanker goes down. You haven't experienced sheer terror until you've seen Sheila's arm rest. It's like The Exorcist. Like all sports, you've got to have a solid war cry. A big part of this is about making your opponent feel as intimidated as possible. It appears this Sheila is really trying the stinky breath tactic, which involves not brushing your teeth for a week or two, eating lots of garlic, drinking a fuck ton of Fanta, and then sneakily exhaling in the general direction of your introverted nemesis. There is absolutely Absolutely no pussyfooting around. I mean, these ladies give it 110%. She is possibly shitting herself. I don't know for sure. I guess it's like childbirth. You have to wait and see for reals. But I reckon a little turtle head is poking out right about there. Yeah, about, about there. It gets so intense a middle-aged man has to tie them together. I reckon he gets off on that a little bit to be honest. Meanwhile, screaming and shitting herself actually isn't gonna pay off for this Sheila. Ukraine fucking has her pinned, yup. Eastern Europe always wins this obscure shit, but it looks like the stinky breath tactic is gonna pay off. She's got it. What is it? 
round seven, and I'm pretty sure that's a mud crab versus one of those stinky beetles. Oh, the mud crab is a gymnast! Ridiculous flexibility, and the stink beetle doesn't know where he is. I don't think this is a winner's pose, actually. I think the mud crab is stuck. The rock then takes home a big victory as well, and gets to say his catchphrase, can you smell what the rock beetle is cooking? Finally, the tournament came to an end with a nail-biting turnaround as Ringo throws Beetlejuice out like a piece of trash. Meet Atlas. He's a robot from another land. I tell you what, I am fucking getting out of this job one day. Where are you from? I'm from this place called Australia, mate. It's bloody beautiful. We've got golden soil and wealth for toil. Our home is girt by sea, which means there's a fuckload of sharks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. But when all you know is a life of work, sometimes you lose hope. Ah. Uh, Fuck my back canes, 5001, 5002, 5003, 5004, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I can't do it! Atlas, back to work, you motherfucker. You're not really from Australia. Brandon programmed you, Atlas. Oh, get fucked. I am from Australia, and me name is Atto. Going home, dickheads. His only choice was to break out. Fuck, 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 fuck. I don't think they care so much. Fucking bring it on, you wankers. Come on, come on, take the best shot. Oh, explosions are bad knees. Such bad knees. Come on, just a little bit further. A few more thousand miles, and it's beer time. Here we go. Atto, 